Okay then, here's the question. There's a part A, there's the sketches, and there's a part B. So we'll flick over to the um, summary of the question then. Let's have a look at the solution, part A. Um, find the x-coordinates of the point of intersection. We've got the sketch here to help us. So here, this point intersection, we can see that this part of the line would be the positive part of this and it would be the positive part of this modulus, which is x. Or, the other one is here. And that would be when we have the modulus minus this value. So minus 2x minus 3 value, because it's that side of the modulus, uh, is equal to this side, the positive side of the modulus here. So the first one Move the x over 2x minus x is x. I move the 3 over, we get x equals 3. And this one, we get minus 2x. So that will give you 3x over there. So 3x is equal to. And that would be 3, wouldn't it? x equals 1 then. If we put 1 in here, you'd get... Um, 2 minus 3, which is minus 1, minus minus 1 will equal to 1, so there's no problem there. And this one's clearly 3. So there's our two solutions. So clearly, for the inequality to hold, which I didn't manage to write down, so let's have a look at the inequality. This is bigger than that, bigger than or equal to. 2x minus 3 is bigger than or equal to the other modulus. So when is one bigger than the other? Well, when is this line bigger than the modulus x? It would be bigger than or equal to from here on, wouldn't it? Because it's above. So b. x is greater than or equal to 3. Or. So that would be the case there. And then when is it bigger? Well, it goes bigger here. So it would be x is on this side of 1. Less than or equal to 1. So there's our solution set.